सो नाउ वी आर इन दी लास्ट वीडियो और लास्ट पार्ट ऑफ चैप्टर नंबर सेवन इन दी प्रीवियस वीडियोस वी हैड सीन व्हाट इज दी कंटेंट्स ऑफ दी टॉप पैनल नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू सी दी बॉटम पैनल नाउ दी बॉटम पैनल एज यू कैन सी हियर इज दी शो डेस्कटॉप आइकॉन on the left side and the tres icon on the right hand side now this is known as show desktop icon what does show desktop icon mean for example if i open something here okay i open two three things there so if i want to minimize this thing both the things then i can click on show desktop icon so both the things will get minimized and stored here then the uh, right hand side icon is of uh, recycle bin type of thing which is known as trash can now whenever you click on show desktop icon all the open windows are minimized revealing on the desktop clicking again on the same icon restores the windows to their previous state i click here then it will get restored now the trash can is provided that is this thing trash can is uh, provided for the user safety any file or folder deleted by the user using the file browser is not deleted immediately it is moved to the trash can now this people are uh, telling as if all these things are new and only provided by ubuntu actually recycle bin from the time when windows started they are providing we re, uh, recycle bin this is the same thing so in case user deletes some files or folders accidentally or by mistake this trash can provides an opportunity to bring the same thing back at any time the user may open the trash can uh, can by clicking its icon as i have opened here and see the deleted files and folders here i have deleted two things so it could be seen here by right clicking on any of the item i right clicking on any of the on item in the trash can brings up a context menu that includes the option to open the item that is uh, to see what is there in it cut copy and uh, uh that is a uh, an option to delete the item permanently another thing is copy to which folder okay move to which folder both the options are given here then delete permanently to delete that thing permanently then to restore restore means it will be saved in the place from where you had deleted it now <coughs> there is a, also an item to empty the whole trash can where is that icon just check here empty the trash can now if you don't want to delete the individual files then you can uh, click on empty trash then all the files will get deleted at the same time one important thing needs to be mentioned here through uh, only items deleted from the graphical file browsers are moved to the trash can item deleted in other ways that is from the terminal or some programs for example are not moved to the trash can and are deleted permanently then on the left hand side of the trash can is the works uh, space switcher i had already taught you works space switcher that for example here we have opened two files or two things i have opened here okay now here there are four workspace try to understand what workspace is this switch is known as workspace switcher and uh, on the left side of the trash can you can see the workspace switcher it displays a, a mini representation of each workspace in the panel by default there are four workspaces in ubuntu the four workspaces are arranged in 1 into 4 grid okay that is 1 and 4 like this way 
it even tries to show how many and which windows are open in which workspace in such a small area now the main benefit is suppose you are you are working with these two things then in the other workstation if you go workspace if you go you will not be able to see that thing and suppose there you want to work with something else okay then you can open that application and you will be easily able to work with that application without disturbing that another session that is a very good thing of this thing we may switch to any of the workspaces by clicking on its uh, mini representation in the workspace switcher that is by clicking here you can go to any of the workspace now i'm waiting why did uh, didn't this thing open graphic open of it drawing as i told you before also this is a useless operating system hardly anything opens here so then the next thing is we may also use the shortcut key control alter and arrow key to switch between the workspaces it's better to click here and switch then the area between the show desktop icon and the workspace switcher in the bottom panel is initially empty so this area is empty okay this area is used to display the mini representation of the running program if we go to the first first work workspace we can see that two things are displayed here so this area is used to display the mini representation of all running application consisting of their icons and titles as we open more and more applications this area gets shrink in the size we may switch to any application by clicking on its mini representation in the bottom panel suppose i want to open this then i click here if i want to open this i click here like that way we may also use the key combination of alt and tab to switch between the running applications fine so that topic is over here now i come to the last topic uh, and that is desktop <coughs> this whole area is known as desktop the desktop is the entire area between the top and the bottom panels a background picture is displayed on it any other items the user puts on the desktop will be placed in front of the background initially the desktop is empty but the user may place frequently used files directories as well as application launchers on the desktop for quick access in reality all the items the user places on the desktop are actually stored in the sub directory named desktop in the user's home directory right clicking on any empty area on the desktop brings up a context menu that allows us to create a <coughs> new folder files and application now in uh, windows if you observe if you give a right click you can create a new file of microsoft word also excel also powerpoint also anything while here you can create only a file based on notepad type of thing so here only this thing you can create an application launchers on the desktop this all things you can create the process of creating an application launcher is same as the one for creating a custom launcher in the top panel described above now alternately we may drag and drop files and folders from the notilius file browser on the desktop or application launcher from the application menu or the top panel into the desktop for example this i can according to the textbook i can drag this thing and drop it and practically it is not happening just observe most of the things are not working in ubuntu hardly anything is working from here i try to drag and drop i will be able to drag and drop okay for example 11 standard so like this way i can drag and drop any item also now the context menu also has an option to change the desktop background picture yeah that is there in windows also we can change the desktop background whenever we insert a removable device an icon for the same is displayed on the desktop we may open it by double clicking on it if you insert a pen drive it will show that a new object detected 
when we right click on the icon we get a context menu item to unmount and uh, unmount the device and uh, safely remove the device eject these all things are there then the next topic is customizing the appearance of the gnome desktop gnome supports themes a theme is a harmonious combination or bundle of various uh, display settings this whole operating system is a bundle by changing the theme we may switch from one set of settings to another switching the theme and background may result in subsequently different looks and uh, you can see in the textbook on page number 91 figure 7.16 you can change the looks from here the high contrast inverse theme is for the visually challenged people having limited vision the high contrast ratio and the light on uh, dark color scheme make it easy to read the text now how to change the settings change the desktop background you can go here and uh, select any of the thing you like so like this way you can change the background then the appearance option in the preference menu has four tabs we go to appearance menu in the this option it has got four tabs okay uh theme the first one is theme tab that when you open anything how should it look like this way or like this way or what is the thing for example i click here then you can see it has changed if i click here for physically challenged people so like this way you can change fine then theme then background just now only i had changed the background right so background picture you can change then fonts even you can change the fonts which uh, often children do in their mobile phone they change the font and uh, last thing is visual effect which is not uh, these two things are not working now the theme tab allows us to choose a theme for the list of installed themes more themes are available online the background tab is uh, used to change the background that we have already discussed we may choose a solid color that fills the whole desktop area also or gradual transition from one color to another that is horizontal gradient or various uh, vertical gradient or we can also use a picture see here solid color is also given then gradient is also given okay you can choose two color and uh, then give the gradient effect also or you can choose any a uh, picture from here then font we have already discussed the visual change we come to visual effects the visual effect tab has uh, three levels of special effects to choose from none normal and extra now in extra in increasing uh, order of visual i can be provided the default is none you can see here the default radio button which is selected is none depending on the graphic capabilities of your system the normal and extra options may or may not work hardly anything is working in ubuntu see i have clicked here you just see the result if uh, some options cannot work on your system see nothing will work here neither normal extra nothing works hopeless operating system trying to set that option will result in the message shown in figure desktop effects could not be enabled it shows that only the list of some interesting special effects that you get are mentioned here in your textbook okay the extra effects which you get A desktop wall desktop cube and uh, rotate cube magnifier enhanced zoom desktop opacity windows preview blur window fading window minimize window water effect wubi windows animation but uh, since it is not uh, working only then what to 
explain you about this effects fine we complete this chapter over here god bless